Nora Hannon, you've been found guilty of gross incompetence. Wait a minute, who the hell are you to judge me? Once again, you failed to get a conviction against Todd Manning that would stick. And for that crime, you're hereby sentenced to life. Bailiff. What are you looking at? Let's go. I, no, let go of me. Ow, let go of me. This is a mistake. What are you doing? Let go of oh, me. Oh, Nora. How does it feel to have your own lawyer tank your case? Give our regards to Lindsay. <sighs> You're going down, Todd. You're going down. I don't, I don't know what to do. I feel like my whole life is falling apart. It's okay. It's okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Let's get a drink. And you can get the chip beef. Are we celebrated? Yes! I just took a big bite out of Nora's case. Uh, all right, we still have more work to do. Good. Well, the next step is yours. You know, Marty, you're really in for the long haul tomorrow, so I'm sure that nobody would blame you if you decided to just take it easy tonight and stay home. No. I have to do this. I can't concentrate. I keep on thinking of what might happen at that trial tomorrow. Or what could happen before that trial. You're under police protection, okay, ma'am? There's absolutely no way Todd Manning could find this place. Oh. Saeed, it's me. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, you're a godsend. Thank you. How's everything here? <clears throat> uh, our witness is getting a little bit nervous. She thinking about backing out? Could be. All right, I have a visitor for her who might just help her keep everything in perspective. Come on in. No chance you're going on a field trip, is there? Uh, nope. It's my last night in captivity. I'm busting out. You know what? Oh, I'm sorry. This is not a good idea. Okay. Oh my. I'm so sorry. I'm no. so sorry. No, I totally weirded you out. No, you didn't. No, I did. I, okay. I, I promised you. I did not mean to do that. Start. Obviously, you're upset. You need someone to talk to, somebody who will listen. I'm just wondering why you went to a teacher instead of your family. Because or I, I tried to find Lyson and I couldn't find her anywhere, and I don't think that she's going to understand the same way that you will. Understand what? How it feels to find out that someone was. someone that you loved tried to hurt themselves. Like your mom and my dad. I need you to put in a call to your minions at the Sun. Get them to fast track a story for tomorrow's front page. Oh, is that all? <sighs> Relax, Hemingway. It's already written up. What's the lead? The Commonwealth's star witness against you, Janet Kettering, has a list of aliases and a rap sheet as long as my arm. Hatchet job, huh? We need to start discrediting her. Lee Halpern screwed a lot of people in this town. Uh, so if one of her victims comes up... It's not our problem. My only concern is winning this trial. That's fine, as long as you stay away from my daughter. Relax. I have no intention of arresting this daughter. So what is this? What is, this? is this the war room, huh? I'm trying to figure out who else you can hurt. It's bad you hurt my mom. Uh, somebody come by first thing in the morning and relieve you, okay? Thanks. Hey, let me walk you out. So, um, I don't want to ever question you, boss, at all. I know. Are, are you sure it's kosher for Marty and Janet to be talking? Don't worry, okay? 
the DA knows all about this, and uh, Marty's just here to make sure that we're all on the same page. It's so good to see you, Marty. I, I was so worried Save about... Save it. I don't want any of your phony sympathy. No, there's nothing phony about the way I feel about you. You think I give a damn about the way you feel? You want to expiate your guilt? Get up on the stand tomorrow morning and bury Todd Manning. Because if you don't, I'll bury you. You, uh, seem... I don't know, like you're not so sure about getting out. No. No, it's it's good. It's it's, it's good. What? Um, I'm not sure the outside world is ready for me. Why wouldn't it be? Look, you did the work you needed to do in here, and then some. Yeah. You're facing your demons. You know, and you and you are too. You're you're gonna get out of here. Yeah, it'll happen when it happens. I just want to be as close to 100 percent as possible. Maybe that's what's bothering me. You know, I'm, I'm getting out, but there's still... You know, there's pieces in my life that are missing, and uh, I need to figure out what they are. I made a promise to testify against Todd, and I intend to keep that. Oh, forgive me, Janet, or, or Lee, or whatever the hell your name is. Your word doesn't mean that much to me. <laughs> Look, Marty, I... I know I have no right to ask for you. What, would it help if I told you how sorry I am? I allowed Todd to make you believe that he was something other than what he is. A rapist. My rapist. And you're not sorry for what you did to me. You're sorry you're out of a paycheck. No, Marty, you're that sorry. is not true. How much did he pay you to lie to me? Okay, I did. I did take money from Todd, okay? Because he hired me to take care of you, and that's what I did, Marty. I did care for you. You have to believe me. I don't have to believe a word out of your mouth. Hey, look, I never meant to hurt you. What Please. did you think was going to happen? I don't know. I was going to skip off to Never Never Land with a man who gang raped me? And the baby you were going to help him steal? How exactly was that supposed to go? Look, Marty. You and I were friends. Now, you may not want to believe that now, but we were. We were starting over together. I was trying to be good for the first time in my life, and you were trying to recover. I, mean, I, can't, I can't even tell you how much I wanted you to stand up and get on your own two feet. And even if I had known that despicable thing that Todd did to you all those years ago, I really don't know if I would have had the words to tell you. How could I tell you that Todd raped you when it was so clear that you had fallen in love with him? Oh, look, we're just trying to enjoy a cup of coffee here, okay? But you see, that this sucks that you can enjoy anything at all, seeing as how my mom can't. Cole, I have nothing but compassion for you. I know you've been through hell, but making a scene in a public place is not going to make your life one bit better. Say so what? You, you're going you're gonna to have to excuse me, because I don't speak bitch. Hey. I don't think so. You don't, you don't think so? I'm, I'm sorry. What? Did, did, did my language offend the rapist? Is that, is that what? Cole, do you think your mother would be proud of your behavior right now? I'm not gonna tell you this again. Would you not talk about my mom? You hear me? I like that little story. Oh, oh. Come out of that stuff you gave me. Already. Yo, everything in moderation, bro. You're my hookup, not my friend. So cough it up. <laughs> 